my research uh, investigated uh, consumption practices of tribal people within a modernizing society. An example is where people move from their tribal regions into the urban centers. As the country modernizes, there are all these industries setting up in larger cities, and people often end up moving to these cities to search in search of employment, for example. And um, what I found out is that once they find themselves in these cities, they tend to coalesce around people who are from their tribal regions where they form communities that within that they reenact their tribal customs, keeping it relevant as they find themselves in new environments. So in a way, um, a society expands, the fabrics that once held their tribal society together begins to uh, wither. And by going to these now assemblages, they are able to recreate and keep relevant uh, their past. One of the findings that I find quite interesting is the emergence of assemblages where as society expands, people in these societies, in particular where I did my research in a tribal society, see the need to form other sub-communities uh, through which they negotiate for their customs uh, to make it relevant today. And um, I also found that we have different uh, tribes uh, coming together sometimes to form an assemblage of consumption where their tribal differences are forgotten uh, because they have another common agenda. All of them coming together because they have a desire uh, to keep the past relevant today, but at the same time finding themselves in different areas like in bigger cities where they may have other uh, social interest and acquisition of uh, cultural capital and economic capital. So they momentarily forget uh, traditional tribal rivalries. Uh, one of the uh, reasons why I decided to research in this field is because there is not much literature out there that looks at traditional tribes' conception uh, uh, published research, uh, even though we have a lot of uh, literature that equates uh, Western consumer behavior to those of traditional tribes. But unfortunately, there isn't any traditional tribe that has actually been uh, studied. So that was one of the motivations I had.